Well, hello friends. I look a little different than the last time you caught me. <laughs> Cause you know, I never come on here. I'm the worst and I only upload when I feel like it because that's how it should be. So today is a random Tuesday and I decided to bust out the camera because Joey took the day off work and he's kind of giving me a day off. So he is with Thomas right now. I really needed a break. I have been having some hard days. <laughs> And I decided today I'm going to go out and do some exploring. I'm going to go on a little hike and I figured I would take you guys along with me. I am going to be going a little bit south from me to Hope Sound and we're going to be exploring some part of Jonathan Dickinson State Park. It's a huge park, so we're only going to probably explore a very small section of it. But I figured why not show you all? So if that's something that you would like to watch, then keep on watching. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. We do take COVID very seriously in this household, so we are following all of the guidelines that we can to stay safe. I am bringing my mask and we're gonna be staying away from people. Thankfully, we're gonna be out in the wilderness. So this is an activity that is relatively safe. Um, ideally, you wanna stay home. Tell me why I came out here to not be stressed and now I'm stressed because I can't find a freaking map. <sighs> All right, I don't even know if I'm in focus here, but we found a trail that we're gonna do. It's like almost a 10 mile trail, so I don't know. Uh, I might turn back at some point. Or actually, it's a loop, so I kind of have to finish it. But, you know, it'll be nice out there. Uh, this is the trail that we're gonna try to do. It's called White Trail. However, as it usually is to Florida. Person. Hold on, my audio book is loud. Case, given the fictional nature of both films, uh, as a general lack of representation. Pause. Okay. It's warm out now. Um, but it's not unbearably hot like it usually is like in the dead of summer, so I really can't complain. I haven't really seen any wildlife. I saw like one bird, <laughs> but it is what it is. It's a little footprint there. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm I realized I messed up. I should have um, like tracked how far I walked so that I would know how much longer I had to go because it's 9.5 miles and I've never done this much. So I really don't know how long it should take me. 
and it makes me a little anxious like not having an idea of how long it's gonna take me because I have control issues <laughs> so I like to know everything and I like to plan everything and yeah that's probably why my morning started off a little bit rough because I wasn't necessarily planning on coming out here I had been wanting to come out here but I didn't know that I was gonna have the opportunity to today so it was pretty random and then not knowing what trail I was gonna do like not really having a plan for anything was just throwing me off that's just how I am it's annoying I'm working on it <laughs> but yeah um, I think I've been walking for a couple of hours already and I just don't know what my pace is like so we'll see how long it takes us got some cute little probably raccoon footprints <laughs> thing is that this trail is marked pretty clearly so it's like very simple to tell where you're supposed to be going um, since this is the longest hike I've ever done I was a little anxious about that <laughs> no don't want to get lost out here <sighs> this I hadn't hit any water yet what do I do see I don't necessarily mind walking across this water but wearing new shoes <laughs> how annoying <laughs> i mean i can use that board right there for like a good chunk of it but i'm definitely gonna have to get wet probably gonna regret this but i kind of want to cross it <laughs> Oh, so the stick, this doesn't even help at all, actually. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, heck no. This is not working at all. <laughs> well then. This random trap like terrifies me I don't know why but it just does <laughs> what are they trying to catch <laughs> all right so I'm hitting this other wet spot here and I don't know I might end up turning back now even though we just walked for a really long time because if it's gonna be wet the rest of the way I don't really want to keep walking through this stuff it grosses me out I ran into some folks and they said that it should be dry the rest of the way so apparently those spots that we passed are like the deepest parts so we should be clear now all right so now that i calmed down a little bit maybe i can uh, explain again what happened because i was really upset before um so i probably won't insert the clip that i filmed before but there's like flies out here that keep chasing me right and i was trying to eat a granola bar So as I was eating the granola bar, the fly attacked me and I went to swat the fly away and I bit down and I uh, chipped my top tooth and I'm pretty sure my bottom tooth is like not in the same spot it was before. <laughs> so it's going great.
of these traps out here and I don't know why it makes me so uneasy but it really does. <sighs> oh, there's a bunch of corn. Okay, what are they? I don't understand. What are they trapping? Can someone explain? <laughs> It's definitely not the most fun to walk through after you've been walking for a while. I guess I've only ever done like, you know, a couple miles here and there at most. So walking through the sand has never really been a big deal for me, but I can definitely see what folks are talking about when they say that they don't like having to hike through the sand after several or so miles. You can definitely feel it, you know, like sinking into it and how much more effort every stride takes. Fun though. <laughs> I like a challenge. Another one of those trees that has the red flowers on it. It's gonna be like impossible to see, but it's so pretty because it's like the only red. But you see, it stands out in like all of this, and then all of a sudden, a little sprinkle of red over there. It's just pretty. somewhere I can almost like <laughs> smells like ocean water almost I don't really know what side of the park I'm on I mean I know we're not like super far from the beach but <laughs> I'm not sure got to be close end of the trail actually <gasps> that's kind of exciting I'm gonna be a little proud of myself because I've never hiked this far it's 9.5 miles yeah this sand sucks kind of <laughs> of course this is the last chunk of this trail jeez It is disgustingly hot now. It's so humid. <laughs> but we made it! We finished our 9.5 miles. That was White Trail at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. If you all like this type of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all later. <laughs>